they're, they're, they're mentally unstable. It's, again, it's not the guns. And we have to do more, I think, for mental health in this country. You know, or, or there has to be a better check on uh, somebody not being able to get a gun if, if they're mentally ill. And then what happens is somebody fills something. How do you check? How can you be sure that the, all the records are in the FBI's mm -hmm. file that you're, that NC, the Knicks are looking at? Yeah. You got, HIPAA, you got HIPAA, you know. Right. You, you know, and then you're going to get people that aren't going to go see their psychiatrist anymore because they're going to be labeled as crazy or, you know. Uh, and on the federal form, it says, have you ever been adjudicated mentally defective? And you check yes or no. And if you check yes, well, you can't get the gun. I had a woman come in here. She checked uh, no on the form. I did her background, and uh, she came up denied. And I told her, she immediately came up denied. And she goes, well, I was put in a mental hospital, but I asked a judge to put me in the mental hospital. And I said, well, then you've been adjudicated mentally defective, whether you went voluntarily or whether involuntary, involuntarily, whatever the word is. And uh, she was just like, but I asked the judge, I said, it doesn't matter. You were put in a mental hospital by a judge, whether you asked him or not. It bounced back. And she got denied. So somehow, Nix got that in the record. Right, because it actually went into the criminal database that, because it has a criminal record, she went before court, and the judge sent her to a mental hospital. 